Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Game Master and welcome to my channel. Let's get started on some tutorial videos that I'm trying to do and I'll try to put this on its own list again and it's going to be like my Kingdom Hearts RE Chain of Memories. This time towards the original game and I'm playing through it on the new PS4 collection and telling you my thoughts and kind of trying to give you guys some tips on how to get past each of these worlds. These are going to be more like bulletin points instead of like a full walkthrough or a let's play. So, you know, like I said, it's kind of just straight to the point. Here's what you need A, B, C to get past each world and hopefully keep it simple. Anyways, starting the game, you will need to choose between three classes. Either a warrior, guardian, or a mage. A lot of people like the mage because you can get scan which comes in really, really late in the final mixes, considering how it's basic what you get in a lot of the other games. In fact, if you choose anything but the mage, you'll have to wait until level 21 before you get this kind of useful ability to see enemies' life bars. But I still prefer the Guardian because it does let you unlock moves like Second Chance and other defensive moves earlier in the game, but you should choose what type of character you want to be for however you think you'll be playing the game. Like I said, I go with the Guardian. Anyways, the next step will be a personality test and it will give you a message like you're leaving in the morning, noon, or nighttime. If you leave in the morning, the early sections of the game will have you leveling up easier, while later in the game you will have a harder time leveling up. While leaving later will have you struggling towards the beginning of the game and leveling up easier later on. Leaving in midday keeps things balanced. I prefer leaving in the morning if you're new. There's always plenty of ways to level up later in the game and plenty of areas to explore for new items later in the game. It's beginning and getting yourself started that will be a challenge if you're new to the game. Anyways, in the tutorial mode as well as the end of the Destiny Island, you will be fighting a boss called Dark Side. And get used to this boss, you will be fighting him quite a few times, but he's not hard. When he pounds his fists in the ground to create Heartless, kill them for HP and then hit his hands. Otherwise, jump up and bash his hands with your weapons that you got earlier on. After a while, he will give up the ghost and a cutscene will play. Anyways, on the first day, the logs are right by where you start off and then right by Riku on the island with the trees to get those. The rope that you need for Kyrie is found on the other side of the island by where Titus is playing. And finally, the cloth go down from where Titus is and you will find the stairway. Follow it up to get the cloth in this secret area here. After this, you can talk to Kyrie if you want to end the day. If not, talk to the Final Fantasy characters to engage them in play fights. You can also fight Riku if you want to get a butt whooping. It is possible to beat him, but it's not needed. On the second day after the race, which doesn't matter if you win or not, you will need to get some food stuff for Kyrie in order to complete the day. The mushrooms are found in this cave where you need to push this rock right here by the ladder up to the ropeway and then finally back in the front of the island in that hidden area that Waka points out. You have to examine the door that's in this area and watch a cutscene before it finally lets you pick up this mushroom. The water that Kyrie needs can be found in this little pond outside of the secret area. You'll have to step in it in order to fill it. As for the fish, just swim out to the sea and touch them to collect them. For the coconuts you need, hit these trees and grab the yellow ones when they fall down. The bird egg can be found in a tree right outside the bridge to the island that Titus is now playing on. Climbing up the white skinnier tree to reach it is how you get this egg. When you're done, go talk to Kyrie and watch some cutscenes. Then you'll be back on the island at night. Ignore the monsters, you can't kill them yet. Talk to Riku and receive the Keyblade. Now you can kill those monsters. Next, go back to the hidden area where you found that door and watch another cutscene. It's boss fight time and yeah, it's the same monster that you fought in the tutorial modes. Now you just have the Keyblade, but the same strategy works. 
just basically smack him on his hands whenever he creates Heartless and jump up and smack him when his hands are in the air and you'll eventually win. Well guys, I'll see you next video.